Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for March. This is the second reading for Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that this reading could resonate at any time in March. It may or may not be for you. We're just going to see whatever comes up. This is for Aries. What do we got for Aries? Perception. Perception. That's a good card, isn't it? Life is what you perceive it, right? It is. If you perceive it to be ugly and cold, then it will be. If you perceive it to be dark, it will be dark. If you choose to see light, you will see light if you look for it. happy or sad it's your choice you can wear the mask or you can take it off what's it going to be I'm not saying that you guys are wearing a mask I mean it looks like I mean, that mask is off that mask is off so that might say that if you were wearing one, you aren't anymore, right? Maybe you're just ready to be. You're just ready to be yourself. To hell with the mask. I'm just, I'm just ready to be myself. You can choose, right? You can choose which one you want to wear at any time. You certainly can. It's your choice. It's always your choice. Ooh, the high priestess reversed. Somebody's going through some sort of repression right now, a loss of self. And there's a, there's a little, there's a, maybe there's a lack of believing in oneself. Maybe you're feeling like you don't know what's going on. I, mean, I think that somebody is not believing in themselves. So I don't know why. Maybe you're starting to give up on yourself. Maybe it's just like, maybe I'm not as strong or maybe I'm not as intuitive or you're doubting. Why? Why would you doubt yourself? Oh, lack of mastering emotions, the chariot reversed. Somebody's not mastering their emotions. Somebody's not taking their own, taking the reins. Somebody is not finding the discipline and the mental strength to move out of a situation, whatever the situation is. It's like they're stuck. There's like there's somebody is losing their their will to uh, this is face your fears but it's reversed replace fear with faith it's reversed somebody doesn't have faith this is lack of faith somebody is losing faith in their own abilities and it's time for a change it is time for a change. Free will plays a part in your destiny. You have to you have to take that step. You have to make that move. You have to give that wheel that little bit of nudge, right? Good luck is on its way. It is on its way. That's what this card is, right? It's a change of course, but free will absolutely plays a part and somebody ain't moving. You have to take the reins. You have to take the lead. You have to give it a nudge because nobody's going to do it for you. It's kind of like the price is right. You know, and they're spinning that wheel. You can you can spin it and have it not go all the way around and, and be like, what the, what the, you know, W T what WTF, right? Come on now. Spin the goddamn wheel. If 
you after you spin the wheel, after you take the reins and take the lead and stop living in your self-loathing pity party kind of situation mindset, this is where you head to. Emotional fulfillment, right? On the other side of this darkness that you're keep you are keeping yourself in there's emotional fulfillment but you gotta spin that wheel first you gotta spin the wheel it's time for a change it's time for love it's time for emotional fulfillment it's time for happiness Oh, God. Lack of strength, lack of strength. I mean, there's lack of willpower. Like I said, somebody that can't find the mental strength. There's lack of confidence, <coughs> weakness, fears are in the way, lack of self worth. Somebody is stuck. <coughs> I do apologize. I got this tickle in my throat. Somebody is absolutely stuck in their thoughts. Trapped. Trapped. Trapped in their own mind. And you know, with this Empress reversed, there's lack of abundance. There's insecurities here. There's, there's um, lack of self-worth. Lack of self-value. It's almost like somebody is, is, is be, being lazy. It's comfortable. It's comfortable right here. I don't have to deal with any struggle. I don't have to deal with any pain. I'll just lay here and... Who knows what? Pretend that everything's okay when everything is not. Because I don't have the strength. I don't have the strength. I don't have the willpower to just... I'm just not strong enough. I'm not strong. Why? Somebody isn't strong enough. I mean... To step outside of their comfort zone. Somebody's going to have to step outside of their comfort zone. You know, it looks like... This is, this is all thoughts. I keep looking up at this card and this card going back and forth. It's all in your head. It's all in your head. You thinking that you're not good enough. Somebody is thinking they're not good enough. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Your love, you're good enough. You are good enough. All right? Maybe you need to let your friends help you. Maybe you need to be more playful. Maybe you need to go out and have a little bit of fun. Maybe you need to put yourself out there. Maybe you need to mingle. Maybe you need to make some new friends. Maybe you need to hang out with some people. Maybe there's just too much, you know, loneliness here. Somebody's been working really hard on building themselves up and they're doing a damn good job of doing it. They are, right? Very self-sufficient, uh, capable, strong, Yes, I said strong, strong. But you see the contradiction? That's your perception. That's your perception. You can you are strong. In case you've forgotten. Anyhow. I feel as though we have an independent person here. Somebody that is single. Okay, this is for this part right here is for the single person. We have a single person here that is probably giving up 
thinking that, you know, their intuition was wrong, thinking that what they thought was right or thought was wrong was right. They're just not believing in themselves, not believing in their inner guide, not believing in their intuition, not believing in their gut. It's like they're giving up. It's like, I guess I don't know. It's like you're not trusting yourself. There's like self-loathing kind of energy here. That's just, there's no reason to feel like that. Because your abundance shows. Everybody can see it. Everybody can see your abundance. The next card is the Ten of Pentacles. They can see you're doing fine. You're doing fine. That's the, that's the outside's perception, right? You're fine. You're doing good. This is the overall right here. Everybody else sees that you're doing fine. This is what you see. You see this. You, you see yourself as being stuck. You see yourself as being trapped. Your mind is, is keeping you there. You're, going, you're putting yourself through mental conflict, reevaluating and reevaluating and reevaluating and reevaluating. When the fact of the matter is, is you have plenty to offer and you're doing just fine. So I feel like this is a month, you know, for whoever this person is who is really, really doing fine, it's probably a month or a time of actually kicking that wheel right in gear, opening up your heart, self-love, self-love. It's so much contradictions. That's why perception is there. We got no self-love, love, self-love. Self -love. I mean, that's what it is. It's your perception. Somebody is trying to do too much, trying to take on too much. When they just need to enjoy life, just, just go, just enjoy it. Be grateful, be good, be happy. Anyhow, right around the corner of this situation when you do find your strength and your courage to change your perception around the corner there's going to be some sort of emotional fulfillment there is because that's around the corner it's around the corner but that's not going to happen until the timing's on you okay you see the clock the timing's on you it's not going to happen until you know what you're worth, until you change your perception. So this could be who knows when. There's clocks here too. Or wheels, whatever you want to call them. You have to change. And, and that is the wheel of change. It really is. Somebody has to change their perception about who they really freaking are. I am worthy. I deserve love. It will come after me. The Empress doesn't chase. She waits. She's patient. She waits for it to come. Somebody's been impatient, getting sick of freaking waiting. You know? Be grateful. There's a reason. Trust. Believe. Believe that there's a reason why you're waiting. There's a reason why you're waiting for this ultimate love. There is. Trust. Believe. Somebody's given up. They're not believing anymore. It's taken, taken so long or whatever that it's like, I just don't believe. I'm starting to give up hope. But right around the corner, there is emotional fulfillment. But you've got to continue to be strong. And you've got to continue to move forward instead of give up. I don't know who that is for, but whatever. Anyway, is there, is there, if you are single... And you're watching this and you want to know if any new love is coming. It is around the corner. If you're single and you're here. Okay. If you're here. If you're here. We got a problem. You got to spin that wheel and, be, and you got to turn this Empress card upright. You're not ready. 
The Empress reversed, not ready, not ready. Upright, she's ready to give birth, upright, De reverse, she's not, not ready. Some of you are ready. Some of you are really close to getting ready or you're ready. So if you are this woman who is happy, enjoying life, you know, you're, you're, you're not in this mentality, then there's love right around the corner. Now this is a man or a woman. I might have said woman, but this is a person. When the wheel spins, it heads towards happiness. It does. The four of wands, it heads towards happiness. It's, it's a time to celebrate. If you are single and you're ready, you may meet somebody at a celebration. We have a celebration here, a celebration here, and then this love. It could be a celebration. It could be a celebration of life. could be an anniversary. could be a birthday party. could be any kind of party. Any kind of gathering. You may meet somebody. You could. You could. And this person um, may help you to get unstuck. Right now, you're in a period of suspension. You're in a period of a limbo. This is happening for a reason because you're going through a period of enlightenment right now. Okay? So trust the process. Trust the process. Love is around the corner. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Whoever it is that's coming in. Or this could be you. Whoever this person is, <coughs> is very educated, logical, um, wise. This person is taking notes of some sort. He's taking notes. What the hell is this? Who is this person? Whoever this person is, this person is a master of some sort. He's some kind of master at what he does. He's very meticulous. He likes to get things right. This guy looks like he is a director of some sort, some sort of director. Hmm. <coughs> Getting ready, he's making plans. So it looks like somebody is in the process of gathering the data that they need to move forward and they're you know they gotta they gotta come up with the right plan they gotta make a plan you're the director of your own life you are the director of your own ship interesting wherever that's coming from you notice where I put the card this is Libra Gemini Aquarius this is a person that is very authoritative. Whoever this person is that's coming in, whether it's a man or a woman, I really think it's a man. I have to tell you, I think it's a man. I think this is a man. If you are the woman watching this, this is a man that is coming in that is very Authoritative, you know what I mean? It's not that he's going to boss you around or anything. He's very educated. He's very, um, poised. He's very well put together. He's very, uh, 
intelligent. Very, very, very well read. Very, very, very intelligent. He's whoever this man is. Um, and it feels like he. Whoever this man is, he's been watching this woman. He's been watching this. He has. He has. It's like he's taking notes. He's taking notes. So if you are the Aries woman, you may have a you may have a masculine that is um, interested in taking notes. You know, even if they're mental notes. You know, that's what it feels like to me. Um, hmm. This could this could also be somebody that you sign a contract with. You know, you sign a contract with and there's some sort of spark. Okay, maybe you're you're going somewhere, maybe to a bank or something. I don't know. You're going somewhere, maybe I don't know, some kind of contract. You're going to sign a contract and you meet this person there. Um if you are the if you are the man watching this, you have an independent woman who is very abundant uh, that can really take care of herself. And and I feel like you're going to need to be a really strong man to take her hand, whoever this woman is. Um, if you're the man watching this, you need to do your homework because this man's doing his homework. If you are the man watching this, you need to do your homework. If you want this woman who is worthy because she knows what she's worth. Um, if Whoever this is for, there's love around the corner. It could lead to commitment, but you have to spin that wheel. This is a very de decisive king. He's very decisive. Once he makes a decision, his mind is made up. So it feels like you have to be the director. Like I said, you have to make that decision to spin that wheel. This is confusing, huh? It is. There's a period, there's a period of limbo being stuck because somebody is afraid of change. It's the truth. <clears throat> the hangman is afraid of change. The wheel of fortune, you need to spin the wheel. The two of pentacles, not not wanting to give up something that needs to be given up. The, the Empress doesn't want to deal with her pain, so it's like afraid of change. It's afraid of afraid of change. So you have to make the decision to direct your own life. You have to spin the wheel. There's an opportunity for love in front of you. It is. You, if you haven't met this person yet, you're single. You're pro you're going to meet them during a gathering. Is it going to be in March? It could be in March. It could be in the spring. Any time in the next three months. It could be April. But you have to be ready for it. And you need to change your mindset. You've got to change your mindset. If you don't change your mindset, you're going to continue to be stuck. So there's a destined change, of course, here. Where one chapter of your life needs to come to an end and you need to start on the next one. But it's not going to happen until you take that step. When you know what that step is, I don't. It has to do with self-confidence and self-worth and self-value. I know that. I'm not sure what this step is. But you need to take some sort of initiative. Get ready. Do your homework. Whatever it is that maybe you need to do is some sort of investigation. I don't know what it is. Be your, be your own hero. Be your own hero. It 
I think that people are going to recognize your strength. I think that you are highly respected. You may not see it, but you are. Other people respect you. They respect your intelligence. They respect your knowledge. They respect your character. Don't let your own perception hinder your success. There's an opportunity for victory and success and whatever you want if you take the reins. So I don't know who this reading is for, but it feels like somebody is needing to make progress, progress, take that journey, you know, do whatever they got to do. Um, somebody is spending too many nights Worrying about the what ifs, worrying about their thoughts, worrying about not finding happiness, worrying about, you know, not getting that commitment or not getting the happily ever after. Somebody is worried too much about it. Just, just let it go. There's so many options. There's a level of confusion here. You may not be seeing things as clearly as they are. You're not. You're not with that perception card. Somebody may be having some sort of illusions. And they're deceiving themselves. The Seven of Swords, deceiving yourself. And it's like you're robbing yourself of, of sleep at night by worrying about the what ifs. Love is around the corner. Don't let this time of loneliness, this time of independence get you down. You could go to some sort of party this month. And meet somebody that could eventually lead to some sort of commitment, but or some sort of happiness, whatever it is, it could. But I think it's, I think it's, it, you know, it all depends on you. Like I said, the timing depends on you. Negative thinking, and there is negative thinking here, isn't going to get you anywhere. It's going to keep you stuck. So you got to change it. You got to change. You got to change your, uh, you got to change your thoughts because you have love around the corner. But right now it's like it, it's halted. It's delayed. It's delayed because of your lack of faith in yourself. Somebody has given up on themselves. One more card for Aries. I think that whoever this person is that you're going to meet could be any sign. I see, I see uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, uh, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Leo. Scorpio, Aquarius, I think I already said that. get one of these so I think this is a time of getting unstuck step stepping into power stepping into power Take back your power. Stand in your own light. Did we talk about light at the beginning? I think we probably did. Even if your burden seems heavy, it makes you stronger. If you've been standing on the sidelines or acquiescing to the needs of others, this card is letting you know it's time to stand up for yourself. I love you, God. You no longer need to live your life for others. 
Yet, if you choose, your light can illuminate the path for those who walk beside you. The greatest power is silent and deep. It doesn't need a show of force. It just is. If you've lost or given away your authority, it's funny, we've talked about authority. That's why this card came up. You need to be authoritative. That's funny. Okay. Let me get back to this. If you have lost or given away your authority to someone or something else, it's time to reclaim it. These cards, I always sum it up. If you're, if you're afraid of standing in your truth because you are afraid of being judged, shunned, or rejected, it's time to let go of the hesitation. If you've been carrying responsibilities for others, you're stronger for it. However, it's time to decide to either let them go or continue forward with them, but on your terms. You have a remarkable inner spiritual power that is born of sacred love, wisdom, and grace. Use it. Follow your own path. You don't know how strong you are. You don't. Stop doubting yourself. Love yourself truly, fully. And then you'll get the love that you deserve. Anyway, you know, I just, I, there's, there's love around the corner, but I, I don't know how soon. It could happen this month. I can't guarantee it because the clock is in your hands, not mine. 